It's 5.45 p.m., which means it's time for BCTV's Nightly News Roundup. I'm Roland Boyden alongside Joe Bushy, the show, 5.45 Live. Tonight, police round up burglars responsible for over 100 area break-ins. We'll round up local basketball with some good highlights, replays from the weekend collegiate a cappella fun, and more. And remember, we're going to try and do it all in 15 minutes, so make sure you stick with us here on 5.45 Live. Welcome back to 545 Live, uh, this February 6, 2012 edition. That's uh, in downtown, the downtown elementary school's jump rope team gearing up for some local competition footage courtesy of the Brattleboro Reformer and their YouTube channel of the same name, uh, reformer.com, for more. All right, Joe, we got to start the headlines off here. Let's uh, let's just turn it loose. We'll start with earlier this afternoon, police held a press conference at 1 o'clock in Putney to update the public on the progress in their nearly 12-month-long investigation into a string of robbers that have plagued small businesses across five states. Uh, seven men, it looks like, uh, have been charged, uh, arrested and charged, um, and uh, six men in custody, one man still at large. We've got a clip from that here, press conference. Let's take a look. Information sharing meetings continued involving investigators from both states. The larger group developed a comprehensive picture of these crimes that allowed investigators to narrow the investigation to a group of suspects. Because of the cooperation, evidence was compiled linking several suspects to approximately 100 burglaries in Vermont, in New Hampshire, as well as several in Massachusetts, one in Maine, and one in the state of Virginia. The investigation is involved in far-reaching, so so much so that the burglary investigations are still in progress and continue to be linked, uh, crimes continue to be linked uh, to this series of crimes every week. Let's see, uh, I mentioned that uh, there's still one of those men at large. They're scheduled to appear in Vermont Superior Court March 13th. You talked to Brad PD Detective Michael Carrier. He did say that, in fact, some of these burglaries actually did come from the Brattleboro area. Uh, let's see. Um, next one's yours as well. I'll throw it back to you. All right, here. moving on. Vernon police have identified multiple phone and email scams that are targeting local residents, including a false megabucks win that requires a filing fee to cash in and a pricey bail request for an estranged family member lost overseas. Police are urging residents to stay away from any financial arrangements established by phone, mail, or email. Um, and as Craigslist likes to say, beware of any exchanges involving wire transfer or Western Union. Uh, poor Western Union, now so synonymous with uh, mm. scamming. All right, uh, next big news for healthcare today is Governor Shumlin held a press conference uh, talking about uh, new, uh, the new exchange program, a uh, federal stipulation um, that uh, will be enforced if the state does not produce its own plan. Um, but uh, the state of Vermont and Governor Shumlin are proposing an option that would allow businesses to uh, con- keep their uh, regular health care and avoid um, some expensive upgrades. We caught him at a press conference here. Uh, So uh, let's take a look. We feel that as we design an exchange, it should have maximum flexibility and allow shoppers to purchase, to make choices for insurance until we implement our plan in Vermont uh, that gives them many of the same options that they have today, but buying it in the exchange. High school basketball is in full swing, and BUHS TV teachers Gary Blomgren and Karen Ruazzi are working overtime to get their students broadcasting the games live right here on BCTV Channel 8. Bill Holiday and Tim Johnson providing the commentary on that. That's footage from uh, BUHS Varsity Boys MAU showdown on Friday night. Unfortunately, no victory for the Colonels, Um, but uh, they get the chance to showcase some big time talent like. that look we just got there, taking it to the hoop, going up strong. VHS girls got the W, however, with a big time 48-40 overtime performance. And Twin Valley put up a 40-26 to licking on Leland and Gray. All right. Uh, next, we'll uh, wrap up here um, with a couple more things, including the 8th annual collegiate a cappella show, which again sold out months in advance. Uh, BCTV um, producer Rich Melanson was there at the scene to pick up some video of the uh, highly anticipated performance.
And to wrap the headlines for today, Entergy is looking to milk the state for uh, the $4.6 million they say their lawsuit against the state of Vermont's Act 160 legislation cost the Louisiana-based company. Um, at last week's press conference, Governor Shumlin backed his attorney general and uh, warned Vermonters about the ways of Entergy Nuclear. It's really important to remember what happened here. I know Entergy Louisiana is good at convincing Vermonters of things that aren't true. It's important to remember what was true. All right, Joe, before we hit traffic and weather, uh, I don't even know if I can convince you to talk about uh, football last night, but uh, very important news for Vermonters, New Englanders in general. How about those commercials, huh? <laughs> <laughs> those were pretty were good. Great. What was your favorite commercial, huh? That's, That's right. what we'll ask everyone. There we go. Always All right, uh, Giants, uh, a repeat of the 2007 run they made, barely getting into the playoffs and uh, finally meeting uh, the Patriots for a uh, somewhat low-scoring showdown. Had uh, hints of 2007 written all over it. All right, Joe, let's do this uh, traffic and weather thing uh, powered by Enrix and beat the traffic. We've got it up on the screen behind us here, and uh, hopefully I can fire it up uh, on the screen scrape as well. Joe, I'll turn it over to you to maybe uh, explain Ooh, we're at the, the color we're code here and, and uh, what uh, that means for... Here we go, right in this downtown section here, you can see where it's red on both sides of Main Street down there. That's indicating north and south travel in that section between High Street and, uh, well, I would say, uh, Route 142, 119 intersection is definitely uh, at a standstill or at least slightly clogged. And uh, looks like, uh, what do we got there? Sum up the rotary also. And uh, the green means uh, clear sailing and the orange means... Uh, it started to get congested. 91 traffic goers uh, getting the green as always, though it uh, looks like if you're coming uh, south from it's exit little, 3, a uh, little heavy, especially for an interstate. That means they're going under 25 miles an hour. Not great on 91, though. Boy, I think downtown traffickers would love 90, uh, mm -hmm. 25 miles an hour if they were afforded that choice. Yeah, sure. All right, uh, let's see here. What else right have on. we got to do? Weather? There we go. Let's see if we can fire that up on the screen here as well. This morning it looked like they were calling for seven out of the next 10 days to be at or above 40 degrees. Most of the nights would be in the 20s and uh, days near 40. So with the exception of a little cold patch on Saturday, uh, looks like some pretty clear sailing for at least the next 10 days. Alrighty, uh, that's about all we got for our traffic and weather department, Joe. We got precious little time left. We'll wrap it up as we always do, but I'll just say before we wrap up today, there's a public hearing on the BUHS budget at 6.30 p.m. at the CUSIC conference room of the Wyndham Regional Career Center. And you can also uh, catch the debut of the widely anticipated third episode of uh, Things You Can't Talk About from uh, Chris Gradke and Lisa LePage, creators of iBrattleboro. And uh, Joe, you're reminding me of another event we can slap on our uh, hurried calendar here because you got a book. Planning it. Commission. That's right. Six o'clock. We got to wrap early on Monday's. Uh, First and third, second and fourth, something like that. Right, second and fourth. <laughs> second and fourth uh, Monday so that you can get downstairs to the planning commission. All right, uh, that's all I got for you. But uh, before you switch over uh, to uh, the regular news, 6 o'clock news, remember we'll be back Wednesday. We'll uh, get a look at the snowmaking at Harris Hill, all the prep for that. We'll get the usual headlines, highlights, of course our high-tech traffic report we get so giddy about, all that and more coming up Wednesday, 5.45 p.m. right here on BCTV Channel 8. All right, that's, uh, that's about the story. We'll do what we always do right around this time and uh, say for BCTV and 5.45 Live, I'm Roland Boyden alongside Joe Bushy. Au revoir. Night, everybody. Oh,